Howdy, 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 my beautiful Aries. How are you doing today, darling? Let's get into your weekly tarot reading for October. See what's going to be happening for you today. All right. Now, in the top right hand corner, Aries, you'll see a link to your monthly tarot readings. Be sure to check that out for your monthly reading for October. See what's going to happen. And let me know in the comments below how it resonates with you, Aries. All right. Now, uh, be sure when it comes to consuming your tarot readings today, uh, Aries, on YouTube, be sure to check out your sun, moon, rising, as well as your Venus sign, not just your one zodiac sign. All right. So be sure to give this video a like and subscribe Aries if you do enjoy this uh, tarot reading today it really does help me out a lot and I always appreciate those who take that extra step to support me all right so let's begin your tarot reading with the ace of pentacles coming in here in the back of the deck for you Aries fabulous all right the ace of pentacles it just seems like for a lot of those zodiac signs this is October is going to be a month of where you're finally going to start seeing the money all right I'm hearing like the first quote that comes to mind is like show me the money here uh Aries and so if feels like this month you might have asked your spiritual team or you might have asked even people to show you the money to show you the manifestations in the physical to show you prove it to you Aries all right you might be even also I'm noticing this um, for one in the <laughs> the for some reason the page of cups here is flipped around as well so you might we'll get into this in a moment because this is actually pretty major uh Aries but I get also this impression of where it's like you're telling people in your life as well to just show you all right and so i feel like people are going to be showing to you proving themselves to you all right in october aries all right so let's talk about this page of cups here because i'm actually really excited to discuss this first and foremost all right the page of cups talks about new people entering your life or new opportunities coming in pages talks about that new energy first and foremost all right so it does feel as if people in your current life you know the page of cups can talk about the deepening of current connections so it does feel like people are going to be showcasing more of themselves to you being more vulnerable uh aries in the name of getting closer to you all right as well with this page of cups complementing this ace of pentacles here it's the sense of where opportunity is going to be showcasing itself to you to show uh, what is going to be profitable and what's going to be worth sinking further energy into. All right. So let's get into your other tarot cards that we actually drew for you, which is pretty fabulous. All right, Aries, you have the Ten of Swords, Four of Pentacles, and the Star card here. All right, this is going to be a month of where you're going to be showing the path of where what you need to do to end this rough period in your life here. All right, I feel like for you, Aries, for a while now, you've been holding back a lot in your life, not because you wanted to, but because you it's this sense of where stuff hasn't felt like it's been the right time feel stuff hasn't felt like it's been the right time for you to sink energy into your desires uh aries maybe for a while now like there's always been like one thing after another after another that you've been uh, having to manage it's like you've been having to do damage control in your life that you haven't really had time to consider uh focusing in on your passion pursuits or just thinking about just for yourself here uh Aries is um, an impression is what i get with this all right the tens represents closures to cycles so it's interesting that we have that page of cups that was screaming out to you at the um and <laughs> at the front where it was flipped over i've never had that happen before so it's like you close out that old energy right because it's like definitely uh aries so let's get it what happened with that ten of swords what type of painful cycle has it been high priestess queen of pentacles okay so it's this sense of where whatever uh ten of swords experience that it was it was this sense of where you really regretted not listening to your intuition on something it's this sense of where you stuck your neck out for somebody and you soon regretted it because maybe they decided to take advantage of you uh aries or it's just this sense of where i feel like you regret not listening to your intuition about a situation so that's where the pain is associated with and so how this plays off page of cups energy here let's get some detail about that page of cups what is this about six of pentacles coming in here with the five of swords here in the reverse all right and so it feels like to me aries someone is going to relieve some anxiety uh for you here uh aries all right it feels like a separate situation here all right i don't feel like it's the same person that caused some pain for you uh that you regret investing into but that page this page of cups energy is going to like this feels like 
an energy of where what you put into it, you're not going to be sitting there waiting and hoping that it's going to give a result, Aries. You know, for example, it's like if you go into like a new uh, career pursuit or a new business pursuit, you're not going to wait too long until you start seeing the results in it. All right. If we're focusing this on outside of social things. All right. Now, in regards to people, how you can see the page of cups as as well is the sense of like someone coming in that really removes a lot of the anxiety that you used to have with people where it's like you might have like trust issues because beforehand like you always had to like walk around and think about these eggshells with people and like what would trigger them and all this like i feel like you always had to overthink with certain connections and i feel like spirits letting you know that they're going to be sending someone in your path after this painful period that is someone that you actually can trust all right so speaking about people uh aries actually let's clarify this with some a different tarot deck because i feel like there's something more to flesh out but i do feel like we'll get into this more with oracle cards in a moment aries all right so be sure to stay around until we get to the oracle because the oracle cards when i pull those aries that's when we really get into some major energy the major predictions and where i really feel like the intuition comes forward all right so let's continue on with this more so from your own personal journey here nine of swords nine of wands here with the six of swords here all right so here's the thing september for you aries i feel as if you got out breathing honey right you you were able to get out on the other side breathing but you wasn't there's definitely this sense of where september for you was a month of where you had to just keep your head above water right i definitely see that for you where september was a month of heavy anxiety every single day it felt as if there was something that you had to manage but you are definitely walking away from that period right because this is going to be your first reading going into october uh aries where you're stepping away from that old energy where it's like, again, like, I feel like you always had to combat people. Like people always had something to say to challenge you or something in that manner, uh, Aries. I don't know. It feels like October is just going to be a much more promising month where you're not having to rely so much on faith, but you're actually seeing the physical uh, manifestation of things. You're no longer left in this place of having to be hopeful, having to be optimistic. You're being shown why you are being optimistic because you're actually having things manifest magician energy, right? In the physical place playing here you're no longer having to uh uh aries play like a guessing game or having to be hopeful on anything like that you're going to be very much so like your beliefs and why you're optimistic about things is because of stuff that's like right in front of you does that make sense so we're not talking about energy for you aries we're talking about what's actually going to be manifesting in the physical and not stuff that's going to be happening far out into the future here all right a lot of physical things that are going to be coming into fruition for you but let's get into your social life now, uh, Aries, because we kept on hitting, hinting at that with that page of cups. We can't deny the social reading coming in for you. This could be a new energy coming in or as someone that we're tuning into in your current or past life, whether it's romantic or platonic, darling, family, that's not my business. So we have here the Ten of Cups, Two of Swords here with the Fool card coming in here, Aries. All right. And what was in the back of the deck here? I don't remember. The King of Cups coming in here. See, Aries, to me, this reflects beautifully off of this page of cups energy, darling, because this represents quite literally the what I was already saying prior when I got this impression with that, because this five of swords is in the reverse here with the six of pentacles and what have you. It feels as if spirit sending your way, Aries, someone that is just very emotionally mature. All right. When you have that king of cups in the back of the deck, this core energy uh, really matching this. This is someone like spirit sending forward to you, someone that's very emotionally mature it's i get like this very specific message where it's just like the person coming into your life here and this could be like your next friend or what have you um the person coming into your life balances you out in a way where it's like let's say for example aries you're just you have like a temper problem or like you were really anxious the person spirit sending your way compliments you in a way where it's like they're very a very calming presence so it just compliments and counteracts that anxiety or if you have trust issues it's someone sending in where that compliments you in a way where it's like they're very communicative right it's something again with that six of pentacles that's the scales it's something that balances things out here something that you're not used to having with that full energy this is definitely like an energy you're not used to here and because of the two of swords ten of cups 
cups here i feel like you this your 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 path crosses with this individual once you start you know there is this sense of element of change like your path having to change from where you normally were messing with so let's take a look at that let's clarify this two of swords energy here aries and then we'll get into the oracle cards and i will promise you you won't regret that you wait for that so page of pentacles naturally tower card coming in with that four of pentacles once again here all right aries i do feel as if for you there is this sense of where you have to really let go of something from the past whatever it is there is this sense here where it's time for you to focus in on new energy right we have another page coming in for you we already talked about what those represent four of pentacles with that tower energy here we already pulled the four of pentacles for you beforehand uh aries right at the very beginning of your tarot reading here and so there is this sense of where it's like i feel like i feel like it's time for action for you all right but it's like you haven't been able to take action for your future because there's been like some past baggage that you've been having to uh manage here all right maybe with a previous connection all right but there is this sense of where it's like this new social energy trying to come in here it can it can only come in after you have like this except like an old like you can't bring stuff from your past into this current thing you know it's the sense of where i hear like some of you might be arguing with your spiritual team being like oh hey like i don't want this new person coming in i regret the last i regretted the last time i connected with somebody so i don't want i don't i don't want to open up again and it's just very counterproductive to your spiritual team trying to help you does that make sense and so this is a message where it's just like it's time to be open but only be open when you're able to truly say that you're you have moved on from the past of whatever past hurt whether it's with a person or just something in the past that uh has been putting you in such a way now let's get into your oracle cards today here aries you have the new moon expecting a powerful change and adjustments are required third quarter moon so this is what we were talking about here these are the adjustments that are necessary aries all right i feel like there's something that you need to release perhaps you need to do some type of cord cutting ritual to cut your energy off from something from the past here because as well take note with the fool card uh aries the fool is associated with the number zero representing that clean slate right darling and so you're definitely destined to have like some type of clean slate in your life here but there's some type of you know what is the powerful change that we're expecting for you aries first of all five of swords coming in here in the reverse so expect a powerful change especially from like you might even actually get some closure of someone from your past aries that did you wrong and that helps you move on to your future here so it's almost the sense aries let's take this message in it's like your spiritual team is just like all right we're going to handle something with some person that did you wrong or what have you use this opportunity to uh use that satisfaction and seeing that person go through their karma to further your own career to further your own life rather than clinging on to it eight of pentacles eight of wands here as well as the four of wands coming in here yeah this is like the direct message here aries where it's like your spiritual team is just like fun, like at this point with you where it's just like all right we're going to make the karma happen all right use this time to heal and be able to like let go of whatever baggage that you've been holding on to that person uh from that person from that situation they're going to help you get closure from that situation to by bringing justice to it with the intent on wanting you aries to take forward momentum action in your life again all right the eight of pentacles is a card of up ranking right going back to school to further your knowledge or just furthering your knowledge to continue elevating your life here and it's through that research eight of wands is a card of quick success fast forward movement all right with that four of wands here it's like once you finally get the gears turning back and just focusing in on just your own personal life areas so much starts opening up for you like so much happens in quick succession for you so i wouldn't be surprised like in the same time of where things are really working out beautifully for you that's the same time this person whatever uh drama happened what have you their karma happens all right so definitely i feel like there's going to be something that happens that makes it easier for you to move on from whatever has been holding you back here a grand symphony here as well all right grand symphony this is a time of celebration you know especially with this is like something big major is about to be happening all right the ball is about to be dropping not only in your life but other people's lives you know and just karma as its whole because i feel as if for you uh aries not only are you going to be successful or like uh, having a moment of celebration but also 
the people around you, not only just in the way we're talking about from the karma karmic side of where someone's getting their just desserts for whatever wrongdoing they did, but also you'll be noticing other people in your life areas I get that are also having some really positive things happen in your life and their life as well. So it's like you're winning, but also so many other like several other people in your life are are also winning areas. All right. Let's get your Oracle card from here. See what this is. All right. Horned cactus. Resourcefulness. Number 11 in numerology. Very reminiscent of your uh, star energy, right? Because 11 is making a wish. It's a master number. Write down the number 11. Aquarius, or well, it is Aquarius energy, but the star is also a card of like your wishes being fulfilled here. Horned cactus. Resourcefulness here. All right, Aries. So first and foremost here, I feel like you've learned a lot about yourself. Oh, not me messing with the camera. I feel like you've learned a lot about yourself uh aries all right you've been through tougher situations than where you're currently at right now all right you know don't allow any situation you're currently going through make you give up allow like whatever is challenging you challenging you currently see that as a challenge that you need to overcome because you've been through so much worse in your past aries you know that you've had this is nothing this is child's play and while i get this message of where you're tired currently right where he's just like i shouldn't have to be resourceful like i'm tired of being resourceful velka i get it darling but back of the deck energy ace of pentacles letting you know that at some point in time that resourcefulness is going to pay off where the ace of pentacles is that representation of the cornucopia right where you're overabundant so really complex energies overall uh aries but you know i don't feel like this really surprises you you've been having a lot going on so it's only bound to uh reflect through your tarot cards so aries let's get your mantra for the week and i'll let you off on your the rest of your day here darling all right so your card is when i accept love of the universe as my primary teacher i will always be guided back to the light i love this message for you aries because this is at least how i translate this is a sense of where maybe for a while you were pretty resentful about life your spiritual team or what have you due to the hand that you were given for the past few months or maybe for quite a long time right whatever the time frame is like you kind of felt neglected or snubbed or what have you here but once you get back into alignment once you're done with your pity party which is completely normal right so don't feel defensive when i say pity party all right sometimes you just need a moment to just be like you know what i've gone through some crappy things have your moment get back into alignment and understand though that you are not being shafted whatsoever and you will always find your way like i feel like you're actively finding your way now you're remembering your spark you're finding your spark again and i feel like things are just picking back up like we're just getting started uh for you like i'm really excited about what you're going to accomplish in october so i love you so much aries this is what i have for you be sure to give this video a like and subscribe and i'll connect to you sometime in the near future bye darling